Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2022, sponsored by the power of Red Arc. Today we're here with the Offline Domino, one of the most lightweight and innovative camper trailers on the market. But is all that enough to score a second award this year? There's only one way to find out. So the Offline Domino was back after last year, doing exceptionally well and winning Hybrid of the Year. Now there have been some incremental changes to the Domino from Sam and the team in South Australia. For me, the innovation is still what its core fundamentals are, which is that camp and touring mode. The fact that you can pull up and get to bed in just like minutes. And it's still a compact, small camper. Or fold it right out, add all that extra floor space. And then that camp mode gives you just, yeah, all that freedom. I thought it was a really good camper. It's another one that I would buy, to be honest. Kath, um, in terms of self-sufficiency, do you reckon it's up to the task? Well, you know what, Tim, for me, I mean, what keeps you outdoors longer with this camper is just this, it's the amenity, it's the comfort, and it's the precision with which the thing has been put together. It's bristling with power. I mean, you've got 200 amp hour and a drive lithium, 280 watts of solar, and an Anderson plug, just in case. I mean, you've got 180 liters of water split over two tanks. A really impressive thing though that I, that I thought is the fact that they could point to 300 liters of storage space inside this camper. It's in the pantry, it's in the underbed drawers. I mean, there's really absolutely no excuse for going out into the great outdoors with this one unprepared. I really like the fact that the solar system that's on it, no matter if you're in touring mode or camp mode, there's still, it was over 300 watts of solar facing the sky at any given time. And then the inner drive system, once it's topped up the batteries, will actually power, put power back through. So if you've set up and you hook it back up to the car and your batteries are charged in your camper, it'll start running power back up to your car if your car batteries need any. 180 litres of water is not bad for a couple. 10, 20 litres a day, you're gonna be away for a couple of weeks. One of the things that Sam told us is that he'll always ask an owner what they're gonna tow it with so you can match the wheels and tyres and the wheel track to the tow vehicle, which kind of leads us nicely to off-roadability, Dan. And we towed that with a 100 series Land Cruiser. What do you reckon? The fact that someone has actually sat down and intentionally thought about how this is going to be used off-road, what it's going to look like in the rearview mirror, it's insane. You can spec whatever tyres you want. You can match the wheels and the tyres to your tow vehicle. 33s, maybe 35s. It's all going to suit. You need to carry less spares. And the weight, it's 1,300 kilos, just a hair over, which is unbelievable. You know, that's, that's getting down into serious compact territory for something that's got a full-size mattress. And from an off-road point of view, one of the things that stands out to me just from personal experience is XT Air with a holding tank. So it's got a compressor on the trailer that you can obviously adjust the trailer's airbags with, but you can also use it to very quickly inflate your tires, which means you're more likely to deflate them, which is gonna give you better traction off-road. The kitchen, it's compact, but it's a compromise, and I think it's an acceptable one. A little under 90 grand. You think that's good value for money, Glenn? you get what you pay for, everything is there. In fact, the only time that you might have to pay more is if you get a, you know, a really expensive mattress or you decide you need some radical rims or tyres to match your, 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 um, your vehicle. Even though he's made some changes to last year's model, the price has only um, gone up under $4,000. You know, like steel's gone up, labour's gone up. The price of his camp has only gone up a little bit. It's yep. quite impressive, I thought. But what was the big X factor for you overall? The little thing we asked him for last year was to add a nice little club lounge, and that's what he's done. So, you know, when you get out of bed, it's easy to put your shoes on. And as well, you get, you know, a high quality, comfortable camper that can go anywhere you want with, as you say, the two different um, types of setup. Kath, um, these are made to order effectively. You know, this is another company where you buy it on Sunday at a show and he's the guy who's gonna make it on Monday. And to me, I've, I see that in the build, but what about you? Did you see the quality in it? What we see with the offline Domino is that, that attention is obviously lavished on every aspect of the build. And when it comes to the big guns, I mean, it's quality everywhere. We've got what, Cruise Master XT suspension. We've got that unique panel construction. That's marine grade aluminium with that 29 millimeter composite. It, it's really just that sheer efficiency, functionality that characterize every aspect of the build. If you were looking to stay in it for a while, do you think it's a comfortable place to be? It depends on how you're travelling. If you're, if you're trying to fit a family in there, it's probably not the right camper. But if you're after a couple, you're really going to struggle to get anything anywhere near that comfort level without going to a caravan. It's the only camper I've ever seen where the mattress is what you want. It's literally, right, in, in the purchase price, you've got a budget. What are you looking for? A hard, soft, memory foam, pocket spring. Everything is just, to me, based around that bed. It's, it's unbelievable. The kitchen is phenomenal, but it's very clearly, purposefully, been designed to be as compact as possible. One of the other things that I actually really like, the kitchen itself is plumbed with gas in it. It's all part of the sail track, you know. It wasn't that long ago you pull the kitchen out and you had 47 different hoses. 
Slowly companies are starting to connect the water hoses, they're starting to connect the electrical. This is the only one that's actually got the gas in it. I understand there's some tricky engineering in there to make it legal, but it's just one more of those things that you can really see that Sam gets out there, he uses it. Every time something bugs him, he goes back and he builds another version of the camper trailer. So bits and pieces like that are just phenomenal to see on the comfort front. For me, big X Factor is a camp mode and touring mode, but also you don't see many offlines yet, but I reckon that's the sort of camper that you will comfortably take into the outback and you will start seeing them out there. And I think it'll be the talk of the town once you pull up at a campsite. I'd be, I'd be quite happy to tow one of those in some of the places I go, that's for sure. Offline Domino at Camper Trailer of the Year 2022, sponsored by the power of Ridark. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to watch more, we have 10 more campers at this year's shootout. You'll find them all in our channel below.